On May 11th, Sony will announce the new Xperia 1 5 and you definitely have to watch this announcement because it will be the first time we will see a completely new kind of Sony sensor tech that might soon be used on future Alpha Emon cameras. Before we dig into that new sensor, please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button if you haven't done it so far. Yesterday in Hong Kong someone spotted this billboard where Sony is promoting the new Sony Xperia 1 5 that will be announced on uh, May the 11th and on the billboard you can clearly see the note that this is the first time we will see the new dual layer sensor tech on a camera, on a smartphone camera or any camera and it's worth to note that this dual layer sensor tech has been announced uh, two years ago in 2021 by Sony. In 2022 they gave some details about the new sensor tech and uh, we have to dig in because it's a quite an exciting, possibly even revolution. Um, I will explain it in very simple words what is new on that sensor. As you know, until today, every camera sensor you use on a smartphone, on a serious camera, on a professional cine camera uh, uses uh, the same design where each pixel has a photodiode and a transistor side by side. So basically half the area of a pixel uh, collects the electrons while the other half doesn't because the transistor is not meant to collect obviously the electrons that are coming in. And so on, at each pixel you lose about half of the light like gathering capability. So what's the news with the new dual layer sensor tech? Sony moved the transistor part beneath the photodiode, which means that the photodiode can now have double the error within the pixel and collect twice as times more electrons. It sounds kind of simple solution and you're probably wondering why nobody has done it before. The problem is the manufacturing of such a sensor. Putting the transistor beneath the photodiode requires a capability to um, align them at a nanometer level and also the bonding technique uh, is quite challenging because you have to bond those two layers at 1000 degrees Celsius which is way more than the usual bonding techniques that are at 400 degrees Celsius so Sony somehow now find a way to bond those two uh, layers at a correct nanometer level without to destroy the sensor in the process. So what kind of real improvements can we expect on this new dual layer sensor tech from Sony? First of all, on paper, theoretically, you can gather double the times of the electrons as before on the same uh, pixel uh, area. And this means you have a higher dynamic range, better color uh, accuracy and lower noise. Uh, we have to see if in practice you have really a two times uh, improvement or a bit less. Uh, that's why I'm curious about the May 11 announcement. And if you're a photographer like me or a cinematographer, I will give you another example of how big that theoretical improvement means for us uh, if you're currently shooting a full frame uh, camera if that full frame camera would have that dual layer sensor tech and improvement would be really twice as before in terms of light gathering capability and noise level it means that the full frame sensor has the performance of medium format sensor from sony that currently sells for a ton of money and now imagine having a full frame sensor that can match the performance of that kind of sensor it would be stunning and amazing. So I'm pretty sure that we will see that dual layer sensor tech on future full frame or APS-C or even medium format Sony cameras. And this is why I'm very excited about the May 11th announcement because usually I don't care about smartphones, but this I will really watch. And I will make a video specifically about the new dual layer sensor tech on May the 11th, where I will dig into the practical advantages I see on the new Xperia 1 5 and also make a guess about how that real improvement translates on a APS-C or full frame Sony sensor. I would love if the Sony A93 or the Sony A12 would feature that kind of dual layer sensor tech and performance improvement. So I'm really dreaming about this now. Again, stay tuned to this channel if you want to see more about this new Sony uh, revolutionary sensor. Uh, see you on May 11th and uh, I'm very excited about this as you see and I see you soon.